People rent rather than buy for a variety of reasons. House prices are still putting home ownership beyond many people, but some tenants also enjoy the flexibility renting brings. The latest annual survey from website realestate.com.au has discovered a trend it's calling up renting. Renters ready to move to a better property and keeping leases short to give them more freedom. The survey also found nearly 30% of Australian renters don't have any kind of lease with their landlord. Well, here to look at this and other aspects of the research is real estate author and commentator Jimmy Thompson. Uh, so, Jimmy Thompson, this survey says that renters are on the move more than ever before, this up-renting phenomenon. Uh, this is the advantage, of course, of renting. You can live in a better home, in a better suburb than you could afford to buy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, but it's very much a tale of two cities. You know, the vacancy rate in Melbourne is uh, over 3%. Whereas in Sydney, it's under half a percent. So you're seeing different trends in different places. And 29% of renters don't have any kind of lease. Are you surprised by that? I was actually. I thought it seems quite high. But I suppose when you think of all the informal relationships, uh, families and people who, uh, who, t who, who sublet and don't tell their landlords that they've sublet a room, then I guess the numbers would add up uh, fairly considerably. I suppose it offers flexibility, but it also leaves you pretty exposed. It leaves both parties exposed, both the tenants and the, uh, the landlords, because there are built-in securities, you know, things like, things like bonds, um, when you go down the legal route rather than the informal route. Is the global uh, uncertainty striking renters who may feel, if they keep renting, that they're, they're keeping their options open, at not up renting, but actually often going the other way, going somewhere cheaper? Well, I think there's that. There's also um, renting is a great opportunity for you to sample lifestyles. And, and cities are changing. You know, there's so many more high rises and apartments around. People who may not have lived in apartments at, at least get a chance to give it a try and see if they like it. Now, this uh, survey also found that Melbourne's inner city suburbs are one of the most popular places to rent in the country. What are the reasons uh, for that? Well, one of the reasons is that um, house prices in, in Melbourne are going down. They're down about 6% in the, the June figures. And um, that means that rents are either stable or going down there. So I would imagine those suburbs are, are people are getting good value for money. But then on the other, the other side of the, the equation in Sydney, Sydney City has 50% of residents of, of Sydney City, in fact more, are renters. So it's pr pretty popular in Sydney too. And who's renting? Pardon? Who is who is who are these renters? What jobs do they have in general? Well, they tend to be in jobs. Um, you know, if you can re you can read too much into statistics, but it's jobs where there's a lot of mobility, um, things like the hospitality industry and health, that kind of things, where people really need to be able to move around uh, to find where the jobs are. Jimmy Thompson, thank you. Thank you. Truffles are culinary black gold and more and more farmers are joining the rush. The Australian truffle industry is